Hey mamas, today I am gonna be spilling the tea all about the Fly Lady, my real true opinions, and the 10 products that she has in her Ultimate Cleaning Pack to see if it's worth your money. Hey mama, so, so today we're, oh! <laughs> Anyways, focus, focus. You guys already know I love the Fly Lady and if you haven't seen the 80 plus videos that I've already put on this channel about the Fly Lady, I will link just a few of my favorites in the description below. These are things I really wish I had found out before I did it and so my goal for this is not to say anything negative because I'm a big fan of the Fly Lady and I want you guys to be too but I think that you just need to go in it with your eyes wide open. First of all, let me just speak to her system. I think her system is the most in-depth and most customizable cleaning routine, cleaning method, cleaning system, whatever you call it, that I have found to work for me. I cannot promise that it works for everyone, but I have an ADHD all over the place kind of brain, and I really appreciate the attention to all the small steps that you need to do so that you can keep control of the mass chaos of a home. We're not just talking about cleaning. We're talking about getting the groceries, meal planning, you know, staying on top of just, oh, where was I? <laughs> Staying on top of life as a homemaker and a stay-at-home mom, and I think Fly Lady does a really good job of that. Her website is the most chaotic thing ever, which is completely why I decided to do the series on cleaning because I knew if I was struggling after years of tr starting and failing with her system that others were feeling the same, and I just wanted to simplify it because once it clicked, I loved it and I want you guys to love it so much. So Fly Lady, please don't be mad at me. I am such a big fan and I really, really, really think you have the best plan in the world. But let's talk about the Fly Lady, the videos, the YouTube channel. I love it, but I understand that a lot of you guys don't love it because she is a bit extreme. She has a lot of personal opinions and religious beliefs that aren't in alignment with a lot of the viewers here on YouTube. What I will tell you is there's one video that I love and I really wish that everyone out there in YouTube land who wants to get a clean house would tune in to her Monday video lives when she goes through the week weekly home blessing. She makes it a game. It's a lot of fun. She's got these quirky little silly songs that you clean along to. It is so easy to get that weekly home blessing done in the hour with her and I enjoy it. I really love it and I think that especially stay-at-home mamas with little kids, it's going to inspire them to get up and help. It's like a game. I do think that that is one of the best things that she's got out there and I don't think anybody else does it as good as the fly lady. Now, for the reason that you guys all came to watch this video, let's talk about the products. So I thought this is an investment in my future. I'm going to buy the Fly Lady Toolkit that is going to make this whole cleaning thing much, much easier. So that's what I did. So I can only speak from my own personal experience as an amateur homemaker, no PhD here on cleaning the house. I literally bought products and tried to use them. That's all I've done. So if I'm not using them correctly, I encourage you to please leave me comments and tell me what I'm doing wrong because if you love these products and I'm saying that I don't like them, there's a good, good chance that I'm not using it right. So please take it with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. I dove in with what she called the ultimate cleaning pack. Several hundred dollars worth of things and she had it on sale. It seems like it was like $150 or something around that, which was a huge investment for a poor mama. In the Ultimate Cleaning Package was a lot of products, and I'm going to try and show you all of the products today and give you my opinion. So the first product in there that I absolutely love is the Feather Duster. I was pleasantly surprised by number one, how huge it is. I mean, it's bigger than my head. This makes cleaning up a breeze because on the Weekly Home Blessing, I can buzz through my entire house and feather dust very quickly, and it looks like I've done a major deep clean. I will warn you, this does not replace polishing your furniture. We do that during the zone cleaning. I'll put a link here so that you'll know that the zone cleaning is 
when you do that deep cleaning, but once a week we touch it up with a feather duster and I really do like this one. So pro is that it's very good sturdy quality, that it does grab the dust and hold on to it, and I would buy this again. I like it. Cost of this, um, normally it's $39.95 bit pricey, but it's on sale for like $19.99 plus shipping. Now I got a similar product found on Amazon, same kind of feathers, same wooden stick, looked about the same. You could get that for like $14.98. Shipping is probably a little cheaper with Amazon, but I would go ahead and purchase this again because I really do feel like this was a good purchase. So guys, if you love the Fly Lady, can you give me a like and that will just let YouTube know that we're doing good things here and that you are on board with me. The next thing that I got was what she calls a rubber scrubber. Now you will find Fly Lady has her own language. I should probably do a video about the lingo, but the rubber scrubber is just the broom head and it's a rubber like teeth kind of thing. It's the problem that I have with this is that number one, when I tried sweeping with it, this big huge lip that it has made it impossible to get the broom all the way to the edge of the tile floor in my bathroom. The other thing is, is that as much as this is really great for getting like dog hair up and the cobwebs and things like that, it grips really well for the smaller dust and things like that. It did not do as well as a regular broom. So I do not recommend this. It is very sturdy. It is very high quality so it is a good product it's just not something that I use on the regular the price on this is let's see just under $17 from Fly Lady and from Amazon. I found one that looks almost identical to this. So for this, I think it's a good product. It wasn't for me, so it goes in my no pile, but I don't think it's a bad product. So this is like one of those, not for me, but it's still really, really good. And I know a lot of people that would have great uses for it, garage, things like that. Okay, so the loud crash that you heard a minute ago was this big guy and it was falling down. So basically this is the big mop head with the microfiber cloth and it's attached to the handle. We're gonna talk about them separately. So the big mop head, it has got these little cr um, crab claw clips. I, I don't even know, is that what that is? And I use this every single week on my weekly home blessing, but also during zone cleaning and I like this. This is a good product. So for the big mop head, I love the speed. I love the quality. I would buy this again. So that is all yes, yes, yes for me. It is normally $53.90 from Fly Lady. Fly Lady, that's, that's a lot of money. But she does have it on sale. So on sale, she's got it for $49.95. I still think that's overpriced. You can buy a very similar product on Amazon for just under $30. So if it's part of a sale, I think it's really good and I would buy it again, but only if it's at the right price. I'm not gonna give you an extra $20 for a product. I just, I'm just too cheap. I can't do that. So the handle is this extending handle and it's really nice. It's got a foam grip here. You can extend it pretty tall. This helps you uh, and it, it will attach to three different pieces in this, this product line. I love it, except there's one problem. Very quickly, as I'm putting pressure to get you know the grime up or whatever, the whole mop head starts to go back short. So. I get frustrated because if it would just stay locked, this is the perfect mop system for me. Now, it's completely possible that I got the fluke because it is good quality, it is sturdy. Everything else about this mop handle is great. I like it a lot, but I still use it in spite of the fact that it drives me crazy. I prefer it over a regular handle. So for that reason, I'm kind of on the fence. Um, I do think it's high quality. I just think that maybe I got a bad one. And if that's the case, then it's totally worth the price. So let's talk money on this. It's $14 with Fly Lady, and it's similar to one on Amazon that's $18.72. So Fly Lady actually is a better deal on it. And like I said, I'm still using it, so I still like it. Let's talk potty. <laughs> So in the ultimate pack, you're gonna get what she calls the rubber squisha, and that is the toilet bowl cleaner. But it's like these rubber teeth, and it's got this weird little kick out part that's supposed to go underneath the bowl, and then it, she sells it with the vase. Okay, concept-wise, I get it. Execution-wise, 
I'm not a fan. And I'll tell you, my first reaction when I tried it the very first time was that the little rubber thingies don't actually push up against the bowl enough to get a good scrub. I thought maybe it was just me that I wasn't putting enough elbow grease on it, so I actually kept this in my master bathroom. And my husband tried using it a few times and I didn't tell him what it was or anything. He actually came out and told me, where's our good one because this is not worth it. So the Swisha and Vase, I would not buy again. I think it's poor design. It's not poor quality because the quality is quite good. I think the design just isn't working for us. It was $29.90 from Fly Lady and at Amazon, they've got a brand called Mr. Siga that looks very similar for the brush and it comes with a vase. It's not exactly the same vase, but it's $12.99. And that's probably closer to what it's actually worth, I think, but I don't like it because it doesn't work. So I'm gonna go back to my very old, you know, regular white little scrubby thing like I've always had. So another thing that Fly Lady has that I had never heard of before is what she calls rags in a bag. And she's got the purple rags, which I have here. She's got gray rags, blue rags, a whole rainbow of rags. And the rags are these microfiber cloths. So I got the gray ones and I got the purple ones. My thinking was gray would be for mirrors and windows and the purple would be for cleaning. And that's what I've been doing and it's working fine. So these are thicker than the regular microfiber cloths that I find at like Walmart and you know Amazon and things like that. Now the Norwex cloth I have heard is even better than this. I have not personally gotten one. I would love to get my hands on one but I have not seen them. They're pretty thick and what I like about them is one side is a little bit more silky and the other side's a little bit more scrubby. So they do a good job. These are $21.95 and you get three in a pack and I thought that was kind of pricey but then when I did a price comparison with Amazon for something that looked to be as thick and with the same kind of texture, I found um, a product similar and it was $14.99 for one. So if that is a true comparison, then the Fly Lady ones are a, a much better deal. So I do like them. I would purchase these again. Remember, you got to pay the shipping. So the shipping kind of bites a little bit because it is a bit steep with the times, it's not her fault. But I do like these and I think that you would too. So this is what she calls a rubber scrubber. This one, it's got little bitty teeth all the way around. It's got, you know, a little bit more softer and flexible bristles here. I think that if the bristles on the toilet bowl cleaner thing was this flexible, it would have worked better. It's just the right grip for getting in there. Does a great job for getting pet hair out of the corners of the carpets and things like that. I've used it in the car. That's where I like it the best. I don't really need it in the house that much. so. I probably wouldn't buy this unless I was specifically looking for it. It is just under $10 with Fly Lady and on Amazon I found one exactly the same style just with different colors. I mean it was exactly the same brush and it was more. It was like $13. So again Fly Lady has the better deal on it and it is a good product. It's very high quality. So you guys have seen this in several videos because I use this to get my cobwebs all the time, the tops of the ceiling fans, all of those things. So this is the Fly Lady Multi Wand. This is a Chanel kind of cover. You can take it off, throw it in the washing machine and get it clean. You can also unscrew this little tip and it will screw onto the extended one handle so that you can reach way up high. Now, is this better than other wands? I have no idea. It's better for sure than the little Swiffer wands. Like I do think this is better. It grips the dust and holds on to it and because I can wash it, I like that much better. This runs $16.95 with Fly Lady and I found something almost identical to it for $16.99 on Amazon. So I think it's well priced and I think it's a good product. So this one gets my vote. I would buy that again for sure. So the one thing I really am not a fan of I'm gonna show you. I don't think that she even has it anymore. This is her carpet sweeper. Now, I will be honest with you. I remember these from when I was in elementary school. Like, they would pick up the little dots and things from craft areas with this thing. It's just one of those sticky rolling sweeper things. I have not seen one of these in use since I was like eight years old. 
I got this and put it together and it works about the same as it did then. For me, it's a total waste of money because I would rather just grab my vacuum and know that I get up everything than to spend five minutes rolling this thing around and then go get my vacuum cleaner. So for me, this is a huge waste of money and I can't believe that you're still selling this because there's so many better products out on the market. My dust buster does better. So a manual carpet sweeper is very antiquated and I am not a big fan and I really hate that because Flality is going to get mad at me for this. I did find um, a similar product on Amazon for between $20 and $30. There was a lot of them. They range all the way up to like $70 or $80. But I mean, I don't think any of them are going to work any better. So this one's not a bad one for what it is. I just think that it doesn't work in general. It's a bad concept. So what does this all mean? So let's add it up a little bit. So I had about four products that I really loved that I would purchase again. I had four products I wasn't a big fan of and I wouldn't purchase again. And I had the one product, the handle, that I think it's a good product. I think maybe I got like a not good one. And so for that reason, I would say that out of nine or ten products half of them I really really love the truth tell is when I add it up if I purchased the things that I want and I would buy again compared to how much I paid how did we do then my price out of pocket would have been about $108.84. The retail cost on the Ultimate Package is $239.50, but the sale price is $139.50. If the handle had been working and I included that in the cost, I would say the items that I got was worth the Ultimate Package because cost comparison would have been about what I would have paid out of pocket for each individual item. And I got a few extra things that, although I didn't go looking for them, I use some of them occasionally. They're just not my go-to product. Please tell Fly Lady to love me anyways that I'm not giving bad reviews. I'm giving real reviews and it is what it is. I'm going to link my favorite Fly Lady video next for you guys because I really want to show her the love and let you guys fall in love with her weekly home blessing hour like I have. She is an amazing influence in the cleaning community and she has made so many homemakers so effective that we need to be respectful and show love to the queen of clean the fly lady before we go let's pray my heavenly father i praise you lord in the storm i praise you in the good times i praise you even when life gets hard thank you father god in heaven i have near and dear friends who are battling some really awful things right now nicole I love you so much and I am praying specifically for you and for the chemo and for the oncology appointments and just your overall health and well-being. You are a light in a dark world and I know that God's hand is on you. Father God, I pray for new friends who had surgery today. I pray for the the littles that are in our lives that have ear infections and coughs and sniffles and make life a little bit harder because they don't feel good. I pray for the mommies who are having to clean up and take care of them even when they're tired. I pray that you will just spread your wings on them and just love them, Father God. Fill their hearts with the joy to know that they have been blessed with the most precious thing in the world, and that is these little families. Father God, help us to remember that we don't clean for glory. We don't clean because we love it. We clean because we want to love on others. We want to shine for you and we want to do the things that you have called us to do. Help us to be an example of a loving wife, a loving mama, hard workers, godly women. Father God, we fall short every day, but your grace is sufficient to raise us up and make us new. Father God, I thank you. I thank you for taking such a crackpot as me and putting me out there to share my experience and love for you. Father God, I pray that you will continue to bless my own family and the families within hearing distance, that you would just make us have a peaceful, joyous day and help us get so many things done in your precious name. Amen. 
it was awkward today. I can't hear myself, but I know someone out there needed to hear the things that I had to say, and it's going to be a blessing. And I want you to take all the tools that you have, and remember, it's not about the best vacuum cleaner, and it's not about the best dusting rag. What it's about is doing all those little things that we need to do so that you don't have to worry about it if the kids are crawling around on the floor. The floor is clean, and they can enjoy time playing with you in the floor every day. I love y'all. Have a blessed week. Bye. <laughs> so guys, there is a stink bug and it was on my pencil and it scared me to death. Are you guys suffering from this? Please give me a comment below if your house is covered with stink bugs and ladybugs right now.